And here it is, the cucumber linguine with smoked trout created for us by Chef Zare. Thanks for coming back and you're sharing another Real Deal meal with us. Well, thanks for having me back. Uh -huh. And I have, uh, this is a real deal. I have one of my signature dish from Zare. I brought it today, very easy to make, looks okay. yummy, and it's very inexpensive Inexpensive, to we like that. So let's so get I'm started. I'm gonna start cutting my English cucumber, the end pieces. Okay, an English cucumber. Now I hear that, uh, what types of cucumbers uh, are the best? Um, <laughs> the Persian cucumbers. Okay, and he's not, I'm not biased. biased. <laughs> so I'm gonna peel this the skin, top part. Okay. So, quickly. And you, those are the tough part of the skin, we have to get rid of it. All right, and then you could just use it as compost, something like exactly. that. Exactly. That's always good. All right, great. So I have almost. And is there a, a particular way that you cut vegetables? To, it kind of changes the taste. Exactly, mm -hmm. and the way, and also for presentation, also important. Okay. So we have it done. Cucumber is ready. Okay. So now I'm going to use my commercial mandolin. Okay. But for a home, you can use it. It's very cheap from Chinatown. You can buy it. It's about seven, eight bucks in the Chinatown. Yeah. You can slice the cucumber and. With a knife, you can make a linguine shape. All right, so the, but this will actually make it into This is linguine. making a linguine. Okay, but that's a professional yeah. kind of So thing. I'm going to have the right. cucumber, and you have to be careful with your fingers. Yes. They're sharp. So I, I don't slice go around it. knives too much. <laughs> so it's very easy to make. And it looks like a linguine. Exactly. And if you notice that, I am doing the only meat part of the cu cucumber. So not I'm staying with not the seeds. Okay. So, what do you do with when it's left over? Are you well, just the seeds? We in the waste. restaurant, we don't rest it. It's the best part. You can use it for salad with tomato, chop it up, or simple, just add a little chili flakes, salt and pepper, and have a little side dish. Perfect. Okay. So, and this one don't is. don't want to waste. All so, right. we have our. And it looks like linguine. linguine. Very good. So, I have some texture. already prepared. I'm going right. to put it here. So, next part, I'm going to add this one together. Okay. It is easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can do this. A little bit salt to it because okay. I'm gonna use a smoked trout because it's already salty. So the trout it kind of adds the salt. So you just want to do light salt. Light to salt taste. Okay. And any smoked fish, hot smoked fish is salty. So we go easy on this one. All right, great. And then I'm gonna add my already picked some dill, which is uh -huh. the whole flavor here. So that adds the flavor, the flavor. dill. Okay. And now we're gonna add the next one, cream fresh, to it. Now, creme fraiche is a little pricey and it's higher in calories. What yeah. would be an alternative? It's easy to substitute the yogurt to it. You can go for a low-fat yogurt. Okay, we like low-fat yogurt. Or cream cheese can be substituted for it. Okay. All right. So I'm put this on here. And what's and next? next one is a smoked trout. All right. And you can have any kind of smoked uh, fish available market. And you could buy that in packages. And then we're going to mix this one together. And you have to get this put together quickly? Or? Quickly, yeah. All right. Because the creme fresh or yogurt has a tendency to get okay. melted quickly. So after you stir, then what would be the next step? Next step is we're gonna plate it. All right, and chilled plates or chilled does plate. that help? I've I now started doing that since I started doing these segments. I chill my plates. Yeah. So it's those little things that make it extra see, special. You see, it, this beautiful dish can be done in a very short time. So and I'm it gonna. It looks like linguine. And then I'm gonna plate this one here. That's great. All right. Okay. There we go. And so then next step is the garnish it. Okay, and what do we garnish with? I'm going to have the caviar. And now, caviar is not a real deal, uh, price-wise. True, but there's some caviar inexp inexpensive. You can buy it, okay. or you can substitute the uh, nicely diced uh, radishes. Oh, it radishes. can go very well with that. No calories. Okay. So we have here, I'm going to do a little extra virgin olive oil. And what's the best ver uh, olive oil to use? For me, I use non flavor one. Okay, because so already I have up. a lot of beautiful flavors there. Won't ruin the other flavors. So, and now we're going to garnish this one. You're okay. going to help me with the garnishing. All right, how are we going to garnish with we the final We have a piece touch? of dill okay. over there. All right, let me get that for you. There you go. That looked like a Christmas tree. <laughs> tree. <laughs> so we're going to take a little small one. All right. Less is more. Less is more. Okay. And there's a little final part. We need a little fresh ground peppers. So okay. I'm going to have my favorite tool. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a That's very handy. big pepper guy. Yeah. Not only. Perfect. So. And of course, you don't always have to put pepper if you're not a pepper person. This looks fabulous. This was easy. This was very easy. Well, this is the real deal. It's the you real know, deal. It's inexpensive product. Ends up being a beautiful gourmet dish on your plate in a sh not even two minutes. minutes. I know, really. There, here's this. Bon My appetit. Bon appetit. We'll taste this. Or in Persian, we say nushi john. Okay. Means bon appetit. In Italy, we say salute. There you go. Cheers. You try to. Cheers. Mmm. This and is really good. And it does have the texture and the look of a linguine. Very good. And this 
is a real deal meal.